लेकिन अब मैं आता हूं जो वीडियो मैं आपको दिखाने जा रहा हूं ये वीडियो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है जून के आखिरी हफ्ते में इंडिया ने अनाउंस किया था और इंडिया की एयरफोर्स ने कि दो ड्रोन दो ड्रोन्स ने हमला किया है इंडियन एयरफोर्स बेस पर मकबूजा कश्मीर में और थोड़ा सा डैमेज किया है और डैमेज हुआ है और उसी के दो दिन बाद जो है फिर एक और ड्रामा एक और बात हुई कि इस्लामाबाद में जो भारतीय हाई कमीशन है उसके ऊपर ड्रोन जो है वो घूम रहा था और ये एक हफ्ते में कई ड्रोन्स जो हैं वो मकबूजा कश्मीर में दाखिल हुए हैं बकौल इंडियन मीडिया के ये पाकिस्तान से दाखिल हुए थे अच्छा उस वक्त लग रहा था कि शायद बहुत इसकी वजह से इस कहानी की वजह से बहुत बड़ी टेंशन जो है वो पैदा हो जाएगी और आपको पता है कि दुनिया भर के अंदर इस वक्त नागोरनो कराबाख अजरबैजान अर्मीनिया ड्रोन का इस्तेमाल जो है वो बहुत अहम हो गया है और ड्रोन के वाकत जो हैं वो आपने देखा कि गल्फ के अंदर भी ऑयल टैंकर्स के जो मसाइल हुए अमरीका ईरान के इशूज़ तो उसमें भी ड्रोन का जिक्र आया तो ड्रोन जहाँ आता है वहाँ पर इंटरनेशनली फॉरन अलर्ट हो जाते हैं सब लोग कि ये ड्रोन का इस्तेमाल होने जा रहा है जहां पर और जिस खत्ते में होता है तो वहां पर कहीं हालात मजीद कशीदा ना हो जाए तो तो ये थी कि कश्मीर में शायद अचानक से हालात कशीदा हो जाए क्योंकि इंडिया कह रहा है कि यह ड्रोन हमला हुआ है इंडियन एयरफोर्स बेस पर लेकिन एक कोई बरतानवी खातून शायद फिल्म मेकर हैं उन्होंने ट्वीट ट्विटर पर एक इन्वेस्टिगेशन की और यह वीडियो जारी की ये वीडियो पाकिस्तान में शायद चली नहीं है या शायद किसी के उससे नजर से गुजरी नहीं सोशल मीडिया पे अलबत्त ये मौजूद है दो तीन जगहों पे हमने इसको निकाला है और हमने आ, ये वीडियो मैं आपको दिखाना चाह रहा हूँ ये बहुत ज़बरदस्त वीडियो है ये पूरी कहानी वो इंटेलिजेंस कहानी जो पीछे है इस इस वाक़े के ये जो ड्रोन इस्तेमाल हुए थे और उन्हीं दिनों आपको याद होगा कि जौहर टाउन लाहौर के अंदर एक धमाका हुआ था रेजिडेंशल एरिए के अंदर तो वो धमाका और ये ड्रोन का इस्तेमाल और ये कहानी जो है पूरी इसमें सस्पेंस इस वीडियो के अंदर है ये वीडियो मैं आपको दिखाना चाह रहा हूं ये देखिए दिस इज एन अमेजिंग स्पाई स्टोरी यू डोंट वॉन्ट अ मिस दिस सो स्टे विथ मी This is a fascinating story that includes drones, drama and spy games. It involves quadcopters, a politician desperate for approval ratings and a spy wannabe. It basically shows how India could be playing a dangerous game and creating an environment for a possible war. Did Pakistan attack an Indian Air Force station with drones? Follow me because this gets really interesting. This is an amazing timeline, straight from a Hollywood blockbuster or a Bollywood bottom shaker. Take your pick. A terrorist bombing in Lahore, Pakistan's second largest city. The mastermind is arrested at Lahore airport trying to fly out. His ring busted. His accomplices in custody. The mastermind turns out to be in contact with a handler in India. Audio recording of the Indian handler talking to his agent in Lahore is released. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Indian handler gets a briefing from his agent on the execution of the bombing. The very next day, India's national security adviser tells an international conference in Tajikistan he expects drones to come from Pakistan to attack India. Delegates of several countries, including Pakistan, are surprised. How can the Indian official warn of a drone attack in advance? But lo and behold, just three days later. According to the Indian Air Force statement, two back-to-back -back low intensity explosions two explosions happen at jammu air force station in the disputed region of kashmir under indian military control but indian air force statement does not say anything about drones it just says the explosions caused a minor damage two indian police officers blame pakistan उसी रात को हम लोगों ने एक रेडीमेड आईडी जो पाकिस्तान से ड्रोन के जरिए आई थी जो आगे बट ऑफर नो सपोर्टिंग एविडेंस और प्लॉजिबल थियोरी टू बैक देर अटेम्प्ट इम्प्लीकेट अ नेबरिंग कंट्री 
They don't even explain how could Pakistan cover the distance between the de facto international border. Well, it's a ceasefire line, but you get the point. That same morning, 27th June, Indian Defense Minister calls Indian Air Force in a show of support and to generate media bus. Indian media talks to locals around the Jammu Air Force Station. They say they heard the sound of a blast that night, but they didn't see any unusual movements around the Indian Air Force facility after that. Even low-paid laborers and workers were allowed in hours later in the morning, according to Indian media sources. And Modi government takes the medal for media manipulation, as everyone knows. Troll farms working for the Indian government start trending the hashtag Bach drone attack. Indian media picks up the hashtag and amplifies it. 27 June. Another escalation. An Indian Twitter account, Frontal Force, publishes the name of a Pakistani officer working at a base inside Pakistan. The account names the officer and claims 50 drone launch pads laid out at the ceasefire line in Kashmir and that Pakistan supplied drones to terrorists, all without offering any evidence. 27 June. Suddenly, one Indian journalist working for Modi government tweets a photo of a quadcopter drone. He pretends to show the drone used in the attack, but fails to mention it is a file picture, a generic stock photo. This is deception. Next day, 28th June, India's embassy in Pakistan claims it spotted a drone over the building during an event in embassy premises. It seems a drone was spotted near the Indian High Commission. This Remember, this is 28th June, but the embassy says the drone was spotted two days earlier, on 26th of June, but that it is reporting it now. Modi government increases tensions. Calculated. While Pakistanis are perplexed, officials wonder what is happening. After all, there is supposed to be some peace in place. Ceasefire since early this year. And back channel talks underway. 29th June. India claims to have spotted more drones at three locations. Breaking news coming in. A drone was spotted in the wee hours today at about 3 a.m. in the morning. But no images and no explanation as to where they are coming from and where they go. 29th June. India keeps raising the heat. Indian Interior Minister makes a statement and India's diplomats at UNGA talk about drones and terrorism. To add to the drama, local authorities ban sale of drones. Night of 29 and 30th June, Indian security forces claim they spotted yet another drone. Seven drones have been spotted in the past four days. They launch a search operation. The search party returns empty-handed. 30th June, India deploys anti-drone system at Jammu Air Base, made of radio frequency detector and soft jammers. Indian government leaks to the media it is fast-pacing the purchase of Israeli-made anti-drone Smash 2000 Plus system. 2nd July 2021, India says it spotted more drones. The Indian media creates more hype on a drone flying over the Indian embassy in Pakistan. Remember that this is 2nd of July and the alleged drone spotting over the embassy in Pakistan was on the 26th of June, a week ago. A classic tactic of keeping tensions alive and keep the story in the news. Indian Air Force issues order to ban drones flying close to bases. And then, Chief of Defense Staff of Indian Army warns India reserves the right to respond at a pace and time of its choosing. In diplomatic language, this means an attack on another country. It is the closest thing to a formal charge against another country. A declaration of hostility creating an impression that India is exercising restraint while facing external attack. In reality, this is escalation. So, from 23rd June to 2nd July, Indian military and government orchestrates a crisis, from predicting a drone will come from Pakistan, to claiming a drone flew over the Indian embassy in Pakistan, to posting a fake picture of a drone, then naming a Pakistani officer without evidence, then running dramatic stories in Indian media on banning sale of drones and purchase of anti-drone systems, then drone sightings, all as if India was being overrun by drones. This is what an organized campaign looks like. But no surprises here, India is known for such gimmicks. In 2019, India sent fighter jets into Pakistan, dropped bombs on trees, lost a jet, Indian pilot got captured, and India kept lying to the world it shot down an F-16 fighter jet when it did not. In 2007, 
A train carrying Pakistanis through India was blown up. Indian officials and media blamed Pakistan. In the end, turns out Indian military intelligence officers were involved and were arrested. Indian government and military are good at these dangerous games, but this drone story takes the cake for originality in orchestrated deception at a strategic level. वक्त मेरा बिल्कुल ख़त्म है ये आपने वीडियो देखी आप समझ भी गए होंगे इस पर हम आगे चल के भी तबसरा करेंगे लेकिन आज के लिए मेरे पास वक्त इतना ही है तो मैं इजाज़त चाहता हूँ आपसे अगले प्रोग्राम में आपसे मुलाकात होगी उस वक्त तक के लिए मुझे इजाज़त दीजिए और रियासत की टीम को अल्लाह हाफ